module 25 non parametric tests section 1 mad mitney u test and wilcoxon matched pairs sign rank test so non parametric and parametric the differentiation should be very clear to you by now so non parametric test makes no explicit assumptions about the distributions of the populations from which our samples come from so it is distribution independent methods so distributions can be anything and no, need not be in the gaussian distribution all parametric tests assume that the population from which our samples come from is approximately gaussian so that is the main difference between parametric and non parametric uh, methods so non parametric uh, methods are based on ranks most of these well there are exceptions so most of these non parametric methods are based on rank so initial step is to make it in ascending order and then put the rank in it including half ranks a concept that we learned uh, when we discussed about uh, uh, percentiles then elements are first rank ordered and all calculations are based on the rank not exactly on the value so values are immaterial so that is why these are highly robust statistic because outliers won't much contribute into the non parametric method because it's based on the rank so actual value of the elements are ignored as the approach is based on the the ranks it's very simple and intuitive you know so less affected by the outlier so that is why it's called robust statistics so some non parametric tests analyze the values so these are newer method and are often known as computer intensive method so we'll give a brief overview of these in the uh, in one of these uh, modules uh, in this module one of the subsections so many of these non parametric methods the tests have already been discussed till now in this module in this uh, mooc uh, some of these tests includes uh, you know non parametric descriptive statistics including median percentile iqr mad that is median absolute deviations and so on in module number 7 and 8 we also learned about pearson's chi square test of independence in module number 19 chi square test of goodness of fit we learned in module number 19 fisher's exact test we learned in module number 20 and binomial test in module number 20 all these are non parametric tests so uh, in this module we will learn some more uh, you know advanced non parametric tests which we haven't covered yet so non parametric test can be used to compare the means that is uh, one of the main utility of this non parametric tests so two independent groups so usually we will do that with independent t test had it been a, a parametric so it is uh, you know if it is actually we know that if the distribution is roughly symmetrical or roughly gaussian or normal then we will go with uh, uh, the t test no independent t test but here if it is not gaussian it invalidates that gaussian assumption then it's always better to go with a test called man whitney u test and analogous to the pair t test with the matched value is known as wilcoxon matched pair sign rank test so if you have more than two independent groups so we usually go with anova you know a uh, single fact one way anova or two way anova so analogous to one way anova the the non parametric test is known as kruskal wallis test and uh, uh, analogous to repeated measures anova with matched values of more than two groups uh, is known as friedman's test so all these are uh, the most important parametric uh, non parametric tests used for comparing the means so the first one is man whitney u test what is that all about there are set of assumptions the first one is that the dependent variable should be measured on an or ordinal scale or a continuous scale so that means the ordinal interval or the ratio not nominal scale independent variable should have should be two independent categorical groups so the variable should be into the two groups so if it's more than two groups no it's only for the two groups we can do this man with new test so uh, the observation should be independent so in other words the there should be no relationship between the two groups within each group so it's it has to be totally independent for the man with the u test to work observation should follow the same shape so that means the both have to be bell shaped and skewed to the left so it is uh, you know the observation has to be uh, you know uh, it need not be exactly gaussian but whatever the shape it is but you know both the groups should have approximately similar shape so that is uh, you know that is these are some of the assumptions of the mad mitney u test so what are the hypotheses being tested in this uh, mad mitney u test 
So the, the null hypothesis that there is no difference between the ranks of each group. No difference between the ranks of each group. See, it's about the ranks. While alternative hypothesis is that there is difference between the ranks of each group. And of course, it's uh, two-tailed with the p, the, uh, the p value or the significance alpha is 0 0.05. So the first step in this manner that what we are going to assess here is about uh, the you know the rat uh, thing old rat and young rat the parameters. So first of all what we have to do this is the uh, this is from one of the earlier section the same example which we used for the t test. Let us redo that using Man Whitney U test here. So the first step here is to make it in ascending order. So make everything in ascending order then we are actually giving that uh, you know the the values into the ranks so the first step is optional but it's always better to work with the ascending order step number two is that everything together you put into one column and make it ascending order and put the ranks in it so these are the whole elements it's not just one group it's a one group the first and second group all mixed up together and make an ascending order and put the ranks into each of these values so sometimes uh, as you can see there are four values two values uh, uh, were sh sharing uh, you know the the fourth rank while the other two uh, are sharing 16th rank so in that case you have to assign half ranks if it's four then it, it will be four you know four point five would be the half rank for the, the, the those two values it's not just that four and five no so it's actually in between four and five it is four point five because four plus five divided by two that is known as half rank the concept i've already explained to you when I explained to you about uh, percentile calculation so this half rank and the rank you have to provide it that is the the the, the, the an important step and uh, remember that you are not doing this calculation only for the group within group now it is all together all group mixed up the entire data set you are uh, assigning the ranks next up that is step number three is to convert elements to the overall rank so remember it it's all always overall rank it's not individual within group rank it's all overall rank so that means that each value for example the first value has got the rank number one overall rank is number one so you assign that overall rank into each one so you make you can make the separate table with only the ranks in it and the same the first group that is the old rat group the last value is 56 uh, 52.6 uh, of the rank is 12 so you have to put 12 there and obviously all these ranks you can put uh, you can submit and to make as the the, the last row of the each column would be rank sum so the term rank sum is used to say sum of all these ranks so we now have got two rank sum rank sum for old and rank sum for young step number four is to calculate the u statistics so u in the sense it's a u test man whitney u test so you have to calculate u stat for both of these groups separately so u stat for the you know u stat for old how do you calculate the u stat the equation is very simple a rank sum we have already calculated the rank sum two rank sums minus n multiplied by n plus one divided by two n the the overall sample size multiplied by n minus one divided by two so it's the equation is quite simple so to calculate for the old rat here the rank sum was 52 and the number of values were nine so that is size n is nine so it is 52 minus you know 9 multiplied by 9 plus 1 divided by 2 that is 7 is the answer and if you calculate the same thing for the u young rats then it's going to be 65 now of these two which one is lower so the the lowest of these two value is always the u stat so compare 7 versus 65 7 is the lower so 7 is the u stat of our man whitney u test now you have to compare the u stat versus u critical from your table you know you have to check out the matt whitney u test table i have already linked up in the uh, you know further uh, references link of this uh, uh, module so the table looks like that so all you have to do is that you have to pick up this score based upon your uh, you know based upon the the significance level and uh, the degree of freedom here so u stat is 7 while u critical from the table is 15 as you can see 
So now the question as uh, intuitively I told you earlier with the t test or f test ANOVA or chi square is that if the table value is higher so in this case table value is higher the critical u value is higher p value must be higher than 0 0.05 no the interpretation is uh, in opposite of the usual uh, the table that uh, the statistical table interpretation here if the the p the, the the table value is higher than the the obtained value then the p value must be smaller than 0 0.05 it's just the opposite so here it is smaller than 0 0.05 which is our significance level and uh, it is significant that is uh, your conclusion about it so mad whitney you can also perform the same test using a calculator very simple uh, you know there is a, one of the excellent calculator i've already linked up in the the uh, uh, in the course and the results are identical to the manual method as well coming to the next test that is called wilcoxon matched pairs sign rank test is that it's for the match uh, as i told you match pair which is uh, analogous to the uh, the, uh, the you know the the, the paired t test assumptions are dependent samples independence paired observations are randomly and independently drawn dependent variable is continuous ordinal level of measurement so these are the assumptions for uh, wilcoxon sign rank test Hypothesis is that there is no difference between group medians while alternative hypothesis that there is difference between group medians. So as you see Wilcoxon text is uh, the test is based on the medians while T test is based on the mean because these two are parametric and non parametric that is a big difference here and two tail and zero alpha is 0 0.05 so that is the usual method and uh, let us uh, do this same. Uh, example which we used earlier for the pair t test so if you do this uh, that is from the the darwin's uh, data as you can see that uh, this is the same data that we f uh, found it for uh, you know for we used it for the pair t test here so this one is that first you have to uh, uh, put down or you know each of these matched before and after then the difference now up to that is exactly same like the the pair t test then the fourth column is the absolute difference so difference disregarding the sim symbol but make sure this you know you have to be careful that which one is which you know uh, the absolute values come from which difference that you have to be careful about so next up is to make that into an ascending order and put rank to these uh, values so you can uh, put the value the lowest value after absolute transformation without uh, disregarding the uh, I mean uh, disregarding the uh, uh, sign you can make ascending order and put the rank including the half ranks wherever necessary usually half ranks are usually not required in this case because we are working with uh, you know continuous variable and two continuous variable measurement to be exactly same is impossible almost impossible affair after this uh, you know once you have the rank you have to as I told you you have to be wary about the sign in the, the difference you know when you make the third column you will see the, some values are negative some values are positive so the rank also you have to highlight which are which ranks belongs to the negative difference values which rank belongs to the positive difference value final step is ranks from positive difference values highlight as a positive T while rank originally from negative difference value you highlight it as negativity and submit both the values so that is how you are doing the test so t for positive value so if you sum all these positive values is going to be 24 i mean negative values is going to be 24 while for positive t that is t positive is 96 now the lowest value out of this 24 and 96 is the same thing like the man whitney u test it is 24 and now you have to check the critical value from the table so the table critical value is 30 now which is higher the, the as the table value is higher p value is lower than 0 0.04 the interpretation is same like the man whitney u test it is so much unlike other tests like t tests or uh, you know chi square test or anything it's exactly like the man with new test so there is a, a simple online calculators are available for this test also you can uh, easily use any of these online calculator for this you don't really have to uh, you know buy some expensive software for this purpose so in summary 
non parametric tests make no explicit assumptions about the distribution of the populations from which our samples came from man whitney u test is used to compare two independent groups analogous to independent t test wilcoxon matched pair sign rank test is used to compare two dependent groups analogous to paired t test thanks for watching